Hey folks, Garrett here. Obligatory haul video. Yes, everyone's doing them, so I'm going to do mine as well. Um, get right into it. Uh, it was a great Christmas. Um, you know, we had snow for the first time. Um, uh, it was a little bit more spread out than usual. My parents live about an hour and a half away, and uh, so we had to, it was kind of spread out over two or three days because we had to travel. A little bit uh, and we had to wait until the roads weren't icy and snowy anymore before we could get out there the freeway was between here and my parents was shut down for two days um, <clears throat> so but all, all a good good Christmas haul um, one thing that you're not gonna be able to see is right now my camera is on a brand new tripod uh, my tripod I've been using was a cheap little $14 aluminum job from Target uh, that I got because you know, it's a small little camera um, and like I had it three days and a leg broke off of it. I could still use it but I was limited on how tall I could make it. My old tripod um, worked but the little um, well it, it sort of works. There's a piece on it that's broken um, so it has to be duct taped. I got a brand new tripod. All metal good sturdy tripod um, now I just need a new camera to go with it a uh, new video camera I've got my film and digital cameras but I need a new uh, video camera hopefully by June that will happen um, did my little Christmas video the other day by the way I noticed a lot of people said hey cool shirt but didn't really see a whole lot of it this is the shirt that my wife got me um, from 80stees.com it says uh, together six constructor clones form the mighty devastator um, I've got a little collection of these shirts going on now. And then my wife also got this for me. Um, I gave her a list of several figures, but this one's at the top of my list. He's not in the box. He's currently over there on the, uh, my lighting setup. Cause I took some pictures of him the other day. Um, got some DVDs, Star Trek, incredible movie. Love this movie. G.I. Joe turned out to be a much better movie than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it, you know, for, for the subject matter, um, yeah, it turned out pretty good. So I went ahead and put this on my list. Um, got the first season. Even though I've downloaded these on iTunes, I still asked for the DVD um, just to have it. And then um, the day after Christmas, my buddy uh, Michael called me and said, Hey, I got a, made a little goof. I bought a Christmas present for myself. I said, what'd you get? He said, I got the Matrix of Leadership DVD set. Oh, that's pretty cool, because some website he found had it on sale, like $120, $150, something like that. Only thing is, he didn't know that his wife had also bought one for him for Christmas. So he has two, and uh, I may have, uh, we may be working out a deal to get one of those. But um, anyways, um, still fun to have, just for the collection. As I said, I've got them all on iTunes anyways. Also got Modern Warfare 2. Um, I have an Xbox, and I'm not a huge video gamer. Um, I'm more the pen and paper, D&D, Warhammer, 40K type of gamer. Uh, but as far as my Xbox is con concerned, the Call of Duty franchise is pretty much all I play uh, when, I, when I'm playing it. And so, uh, you know, this one was a definite must-have. And I have to say... I'm about 50-50 on this. Um, the gameplay, for the most part, isn't much different than the previous um, uh, Modern Warfare or Call of Duties. Um, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, used to the HUD. It's designed a little bit differently. And it does have the Special Ops, which I haven't really gotten into. But what I'm not liking um, is the campaign the single single player campaign the story was very short um and i've already finished it it took me like two days um and it was very disappointing at the end um and it was also as an american <laughs> a difficult game to play um just the idea that there's this all-out war going on on american soil was just kind of something that struck close to home with me, and, and, and it made it a little bit difficult to play those parts. But, um, you know, you're, you're going 
after one guy, and then you end up having to go after this other guy and to defeat him, but the other guy's still out there, and it just ends. Um, so I was, I was excited, but I, I think the story on this was a big letdown. Um, I'm going to go out there later and dive into the special ops um, missions, and, and I don't do Xbox Live because I don't want to pay to play anything. I, I totally disagree with that. I, I will not pay a monthly fee for any game. I've already spent, well, my brother-in-law spent the money for this, but, you know, the games I have, I've already spent $60 for the game. I'm not going to continue to play monthly, to be able, pay monthly to be able to play a game. Um, I just, I just, I don't like that idea. Anyways, I got some socks and a couple new cookbooks, um, you know, different things like that. Um, I also got, this is the snowman, the, the special snowman edition of the, uh, TF Crossfire. Um, I do not yet have the Superion to go with it. Um, however, the reason I got this one isn't because it's so limited, um, but because it's more of a, a G1 feel as far as the coloring once you get it all put together. Um, you know, I liked the first set, but I like this one better because I just like the colors better. Um, so, uh, one disappointment on this is on uh, TF Source website, it had said that there was a couple of holiday bells and whistles that would be revealed when it was released. Um, there's nothing special in this other than the set. There's no little Christmassy or holiday sort of goofy things. It, it's got TF Source stocking stuffer campaign with Prime's head with a Santa hat on it, but outside of that, there's nothing else holiday related on this, so um, yeah, a little bit annoying, uh, but still a nice set. Um, as soon as Clint gets that one to me, then I'll have the whole set put together and I'll do a review on that. Now, this last item I'm going to show was a complete and total impulse. I have to thank uh, my wife Jennifer because she insisted on buying this for me today. I mean, I was going to buy it, but she insisted that she wanted to do it. Went to Walmart, um, and I wasn't intending to get anything. Uh, we were looking for a jacket for my wife, and um, but we always go down the toy aisle. And I was going down the toy aisle, and they had the Revenge of the Fallen Blood, and I was like, oh. And by the way, one. I didn't get Bludgeon. I ended up putting him back. But when I do get him, the very first thing to go in it, he's an awesome looking figure, but those stupid little rocket pods on the sides of the turret are horrible. Those are going to have to go as soon as I get them. Um, but I had them in my hand, went down by the clearance aisle, and I found something buried amongst all the junk that uh, caused me to pick it up and immediately go put Bludgeon back up. It's today I found Inbox Galaxy Force Optimus Prime. Um, <laughs> box is a little dinged up because it was probably tossed in some miscellaneous overstock bin and forgotten about, you know, however long ago it was that these came out. But uh, I have the, the regular one, the regular blue one, but I didn't have this one. And he was marked down to twenty-one dollars. Um, so yeah, I had to get this guy. Like I said, the box is dinged up, but the figure's fine. I'm gonna throw the box away anyways, or put it in the recycling box. So yeah, <laughs> I was very excited to find this. Um, so anyways, Christmas with a couple of extra little item haul video. Um, I'm trying to think, was there anything else? Ooh, I got a slanket. It. It's not a snuggie, a slanket. It. There's not really any difference between the two of them except the name. Um, <laughs> but, uh, anyways, um, I've been having fun watching everybody's haul videos. Thank you all for watching mine, and we'll see y'all later. Goodbye.